Good morning, students. In the last lecture, we were discussing about the electrical simple harmonic oscillator. We have considered an electrical simple harmonic oscillator consisting of a capacitor of capacitance C and the inductor of inductance L. In the last lecture, we have tried equation of motion for simple harmonic oscillator as d two q upon d t square plus one upon L C q is equal to zero. Right? And we have replaced L C one upon L C by omega square, and we have written d two q upon d t square plus omega square q is equal to zero. So we have tried some terms, right? We have tried an expression for the angular frequency omega. In the last lecture, omega was one upon under root L C. In the last lecture, we have also tried an expression for linear frequency nu is equal to omega upon two pi, and that came out to be one upon two pi under root L C, right? We have also tried in the last lecture the expression for time period. The time period expression was t is equal to one upon linear frequency. And that comes out to be two pi under root L C. Again, we have taken a general solution for equation number three. This was our equation number three, and this came out to be Q is equal to Q naught cos omega t. You can check for this term the last lecture. You can check the last lecture for this term, right? This was our equation number seven. Now today. We will try an expression for the energy. The energy stored in the electrical harmonic oscillator, and that too considered as simple electrical harmonic oscillator. So today we will try an expression for energy. Energy stored in electrical simple harmonic oscillator. Harmonic. Oscillator, right? So the total energy stored in electrical simple harmonic oscillator can be termed as U, and this energy is divided into two parts. One, the electrical energy that is stored in the capacitor that is given by U C, and the other energy that is stored in form of magnetic energy in an inductor, and that will be given by U L, right? So we have to calculate first the energy stored in the capacitor, then energy stored in an inductor, and then we will add up the two terms. So first we will find the electrical energy, electrical energy stored in capacitor, right? We have checked in the last lecture that the potential difference across the capacitor C is given by potential across C was Q by C. Therefore, the electrical energy stored in the capacitor can be given by small energy stored due to change in the charge can be given by Q by C dQ, right? Therefore, the total electrical energy that can be stored in the capacitor can be found by integrating this term. So that U C is the total energy. This can be found out by integrating B U C. So we can see that one upon C is constant. So we will get U C is equal to one upon C integration Q B Q. The integration of Q D Q will be Q square upon two. So we will get. The total electrical energy stored in the capacitor is Q square upon 2C. Right? That is the equation number eight. Now we will find out the magnetic energy that is stored in an inductor. So magnetic energy, energy stored in inductor. The magnetic energy can be given by U L, and this will be integration of d U L, and this will be integration of E I d T, where E is the potential across the inductor. We have taken this in the last 
lecture as L di by dt. So we will get U L is equal to L di by dt into I into dt. Dt gets cancelled out, and we will get U L is equal to L I di. Right? So this comes out to be U L is equal to L I square by two. This is the magnetic energy stored in inductor. Therefore, the total energy stored in electrical simple harmonic oscillator is given by total energy stored will be U is equal to U L plus U C. This comes out to be L I square by two plus. Q square by 2c. Let me solve this further. We know that this can be written as L dQ by dt whole square because current I is equal to dQ by dt. We have taken negative sign and if we take negative sign, the square will again become positive. And this is divided by 2 plus Q square by 2c. Right? Let it be equation number nine. Nine. And here now, from seven, what we have, we have Q is equal to Q naught cos omega t. So therefore, dQ will be minus Q naught omega sine omega t. So putting these values in equation number nine, we can get. Therefore, U will be L by two the square. This is divided by t. dQ by dt, right? So this we will get. Q naught square omega square sine square omega t plus here Q square Q square is Q naught square cos square omega t divided by 2c right then let it we add this terms we have U is equal to now we can change L in terms of c how how we have Omega square is equal to one upon L C. Therefore, L will be equal to one upon omega square C. So, changing this term, we get one upon two omega square C Q naught square omega square sine square omega t plus this term as it is Q naught square cos square omega t by two C. We can see omega square cancels out. And we will get. I am writing one expression directly. We have seen that Q naught square upon 2c is constant in both the terms. So we can take this term out. Q naught square upon 2c, and here we will get sine square omega t plus cos square omega t. Right? So we will get U is equal to Q naught square upon 2c. Because sine square omega t plus cos square omega t is equal to one. So this is the expression for the total energy stored in simple harmonic oscillator, that is electrical simple harmonic oscillator. We can also derive the expression for the total energy in terms of L by this term, right? This can also be written as or U is equal to Q naught square by two and replacing C by L. We can write. C is equal to one upon L omega square. So this will become L omega square, and expression will become U is equal to Q naught square L omega square by two. So these are the expressions for the total energy stored for electrical simple harmonic oscillator. Thank you.